Welcome back to the Mighty Vicious Trailer Reaction Review. I am your host, Mighty Vicious. The Video Game Awards happened a few days ago, so I wanted to take a moment to check out the Xbox One X Series X whatever. Let's get it. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. Okay, this is already pretentious. Now, I'm a fan of Alan Watts just as much as the next man. I did get my minor in philosophy in college. But this is kind of like those metal bands that wear super dark shit and, you're, and then their music comes off sounding like really light because there's no way they could live up to the presentation. That's what this feels like already. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Yo, I don't know if we're ready for this shit. This shit about to abduct you from your home. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, fulfill all your wishes. What is the new Xbox powered by the genie from a Latin Oprah or Drake? But now let's, um, Let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. I don't know about the next guy, but I don't need a console that's gonna terraform my brain or my house. I just need games. Give me games. And then you would get more and more adventures. And you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. Where I am now is stuck watching, as my friend would say, an FMV sequence instead of seeing some real gameplay. See, who does this benefit? Does anybody actually get excited off of not being shown the product that they're getting? I'm a firm believer that simplicity is key, but you literally just showed me a PC tower. I've always been a firm believer that you needed to have all the consoles in order to experience gaming in its full state. I believe that until the Xbox One. I think the Xbox One is the worst console to be released in the modern era, since 2000. Was the technology bad? No. Is the online broken? No. The issue is that the system didn't have any games that made it specifically worth buying. I don't pledge allegiance, have brand loyalty to anybody. I just call it how I see it and I'm a gamer. That's it. Xbox One's exclusives were all non-existent and they made the fatal error that PS3 made. Basically, they tried to be more than just a gaming system. PS3 paid for it last gen, Xbox pays for it this gen. They dug their own graves with that shit. But I just want to see some games because this doesn't this doesn't intrigue me at all. So I feel like you shouldn't make a trailer for your video, even if you're just announcing a release date. Somebody can write that in a magazine and be completely fine. Like people be like, oh shit, I read it, came, it's coming out, blah, blah, blah. But when you create a whole trailer this pretentious just for a holiday 2020 date release, I just, I, I just don't care. So I know I said that, you know, I might start grading them. I think this is gonna force me to start grading trailers because this gets an F. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Give your own rating because I'm not saying I'm correct with mine. It's just my thoughts. But uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.